Hey Mountain Family, how's it going? So today I'm telling you guys my diet and workout plan. I know you guys have been looking forward to this vlog. It's taken me a while to get back on the horse with the whole eating healthy and exercising thing. Andy's almost a year old, like next month. So yeah, it's taken me a little bit, but I finally wanted to get back into this whole habit of eating right and exercising because I just feel better generally when I do. Before I start this video, for the record, this is just what works for me. Everybody's different. Everybody's metabolism is different. If you're on birth control, that affects you. I mean, it really is different for everybody. This is just what works for me. I am currently not on birth control. I was on depo. I just didn't care much for it, especially because it was giving me first trimester symptoms like the last two weeks of it. Was not digging that. I was not liking that nauseousness just every single day. So I'm not on anything right now. Dev and I are using a different method. Just don't want to talk about the method of birth control we're using. That's a little too much. But uh, we're just using a different method. I want my body to get back into its normal regular cycle. I am very much on time. Like 28 to 30 day cycle. I'm always on time. Very regular. And I want my body to get back into that cycle. Especially because Dev and I are wanting to get pregnant this summer if we can. If our housing situation works out like we hope. Uh, we're wanting to have another baby this summer so I really do want my body to get regulated again and I would like to lose the rest of this baby weight that I have left over from Andy before I get pregnant again because I always get so huge when I do get pregnant and it's not really my fault I just have a very poor abdominal wall I'm gonna go into that and explain that to you guys but I just want to get back into eating healthy exercising and losing the rest of this baby weight and just overall I want to feel a little better first I want to go into diet like how I'm eating what I'm eating. Uh, I'm trying to go low carb ish. <laughs> like I uh, stick my carbs in the morning. I did this with McKinley and it worked just for me. Uh, bread, oatmeal, that kind of thing was in the morning and I try to do less of those kind of bread, you know, grain carbs at night because it just takes my body too long for it to burn off. I want to give my body the entire day to burn off that bread or that oatmeal, that bagel, etc. instead of giving it just a few hours. I'm trying to eat a lot of veggies, a lot of fruit, fruit because I just don't believe that fruit's bad for you. <laughs> I am eating dairy but again it's just in the morning or at least I try really hard to keep it just in the morning. So like milk, yogurt, that kind of thing. I love yogurt. Yogurt is like one of my favorite breakfast items to have so I stick that in the mornings. I used to be vegan. I don't know if you guys have been subscribed to me long enough to know this but I used to be vegan and I really wanted to be but I've given up on it because it was just way too hard. Devin is very much against it. He's a carnivore so <laughs> he loves his meat and he was just not for it and it was becoming too hard to grocery shop for me the vegan and him the not vegan and it was raising our bill too much and I just decided to give up on it. As far as meats, I don't generally like red meat. This is just me. Like I don't like beef. It's just not something I like to eat and I also don't like pork like I just don't like like pork chops and stuff like that I just don't I can eat chicken all day like I love chicken I like turkey it's leaner than beef and it's cheaper <laughs> so I like using turkey I'm also eating fish I love seafood I always have I like sushi I've always liked seafood but I'm sticking to like cod or salmon that kind of fish I am not eating tilapia that is genetically modified that was a fish made by humans and it's in farms and I'm just not gonna eat it there's a lot of chemicals in that fish and I'm just staying away from it and fat I am only using coconut oil and I have an avocado and sunflower oil that I also have I'm gonna be using that as well I am gonna eat some smoothies I'm not gonna drink them every single day that's a lot of fruit uh, but I am gonna try to drink one three to four times a week. I'm gonna try really hard. Uh, but this is my protein shake. It's left over from when I was vegan. I just still have it, so why not drink it? It's plant-based. It's called Vega Vega, sorry. Um, it's a protein and greens. This is the vanilla. They have a chocolate. They have a wild berry. What else do they have? There's a lot of flavors. Forgive me. I can't remember them all. I wanna try the chocolate just to see how it tastes. I don't mind the vanilla. It's just, is a different kind of taste in smoothies. It's not very well disguised, like you taste it, but it's not bad. 
I can handle it. Uh, so I'll probably keep drinking this because it's what I'm used to and I don't mind, you know, to drink it. Uh, it's got all the nutrition facts right here and there's a lot of, you know, pea protein and broccoli powder and stuff like that. So, I mean, why not? You can bake it. I don't like baking it. See, it says right here that you can bake it, blend it, or shake it. I don't like baking it. I've tried. It's just really gritty and I just don't prefer it that way. And my other supplements is just a regular multivitamin. This is just the Equate One Daily Women's Health. I'm cheap, you guys. <laughs> I buy like store brand everything. Not everything, I'm sorry, not everything. But I do buy as many store brand stuff as I can, like vitamins, because I just don't see the point in buying the name brand stuff. So this is what I'm using and it supports bone and heart health, immune health, energy metabolism, healthy skin, pretty much everything. So I'm going to be taking this and I'm also going to be taking some fiber capsules. I just don't see why not. It'll keep me regular. Alrighty, as far as my workout plan, right now I am doing Bikini Body Mommy. She's a channel here on YouTube. She's free. No, this is not sponsored. She didn't ask me to say this at all. Uh, I just really do like that channel and the workouts are pretty easy not easy oh my gosh I'm so sorry no it's not easy it is a little challenging but what I meant to say is that the timing of the workouts isn't really long they're anywhere between like 15 20 minutes and that is really doable for me I don't get to exercise every single day I am just I'm busy like I vlog I edit editing alone takes me a long time I have to stop every few minutes to take care of the girls or they need me somebody's fighting that kind of thing. I also have to take care of the house. Like I'm just way too busy sometimes to exercise every single day. But I do try to exercise three to four times a week. I wish it were every day. After I had McKinley, I was exercising every day except Saturdays. But with three kids, I'm just too busy now. Before I started exercising, I gained some weight. Uh, before I was on depo, I weighed like one 55 and I got up to 174, 175, something like that. I can't read my scale very well. It's one of those old-fashioned scales that you step on and the needle moves. I don't like those because I can't read them very well. I just can't. I prefer digital so hopefully we'll get a digital soon and I'll know exactly what I weigh and I, there won't be any guessing. Uh, I have lost a little bit of weight in the past about a week since I've been doing this. I now weigh, I think 169 is what my scale said this morning. I just know that the needle went below 170. So I'm guessing it's 169 right now. So I've lost about six pounds. My body just naturally loses and gains weight really easy. At first, when I first started exercising and eating healthy, I wasn't losing anything. And I was getting kind of frustrated because I know my body and I know that my body, you know, naturally loses and gains very easily. So I was getting a little bit frustrated, but I kept at it. I just kept going and now I've lost six pounds and hopefully I will get to my goal weight which is pre-pregnancy weight with Andy, the 145. I do want to do like workout updates. I'm just not going to do a ton of them because I don't see the need. I'm not a workout kind of channel. I'm a family kind of vlogger channel. So I won't do a bunch of updates for you guys. I will do one update at 155 when I hit that goal and I will do one more update when I hit 145, my goal weight. And just to keep you guys like updated on how it's going, uh, what I've made changes to, if I have um, that kind of thing just to give you guys an overall update on how it's going for me now I'm gonna show you guys my belly and I am just a very honest person my body is the way that it is I've had children and I have a diastasis recti I, pro I probably said that wrong diastasis I can't, I'm sorry, I just have a problem saying it, recti. I was confirmed by the family doctor that I have that yep, I do have one. And mine is very similar to Jess from Jess Fams. So mine isn't like big, big, but it is there and it makes my belly look deformed. It is an insecurity of mine, I can't help it, I mean. I don't know very many women who wouldn't have that insecurity, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my body anyway because it's gonna change and I mean, why not? So this is my body. This is what I look like now after having technically four kids. I know my tank is a little bit um, dark. You can't really see me that well. Maybe if I turn to the side, you will see me a little bit better from the side view and a back view. 
this side. Um, I have lost like some bloat, so that helps. Uh, this is what I look like with my belly up. And I'm gonna try to show you guys my thiacidus recti. Like it's right here and it makes my belly look deformed. I'm actually sucking in my belly right now because when I relax my muscles it looks even worse and my belly looks even more deformed and it just makes me feel very insecure. I just don't like it. I can't wait for it to be fixed because it just, I hate it. It doesn't hurt so that's good. It's not like really herniated but it is there. Um, you can probably see it from the side a little bit better, but you see how this like sticks out? That is it. It's right there. I do have a mom pooch. It is what it is. <laughs> Not ashamed of it. Got my stretch marks. I got all that. Uh, so that is my belly. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to follow me on social media, there are links down below and also down there is a link to my other channel and I'll see you guys later in a new vlog. Bye guys. You know my love.